Hello, welcome to the Counter-Attack Review Series. This is the first review in the series, and I'm not reviewing a game so much as a uh, game um, add-on, which is the Advanced Squad Leader Rulebook Pocket Edition. Advanced Squad Leader is a World War II tactical squad level game. It has a big, famous rulebook. This is the Pocket Edition of the rulebook. Let's check it out. Why did I choose to review this? Well, uh, I was considering buying it, but I couldn't find any reviews for it. There's some chatter online, but uh, not much at the time of this filming anyway. So I figure I should uh, review it to help some other people out. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller than the main rulebook. Um, I guess that's why it's called the Pocket Edition. So let's go see uh, how different it is. So here's the top of the uh, original rules. The Maybe I'll call them the primary rules. Uh, the three ring binder, you see they're color coded on the top, well, um, so is the pocket edition, color coded for each chapter. Uh, pocket edition, of course, is flimsy, it's a paperback book, whereas uh, the original rules are in the hard binder. The uh, primary rules, they have chapters A through E, and then they jump to um, H, which is like the historical, or uh, design your own, I guess, design your own scenarios and the armory and K, which is the uh, tutorial. Well, this is different. Um, has A through E. Let's see here. Um, skips H and K. Um, but it does have F and G, which the originals know. You have to get uh, other modules to get them for your uh, three-ring binder. So F um, and G are, let's see, F is North Africa, and uh, G is, uh, looks like Pacific or Japan. Um, and, you know, I don't have the rules for those because I only own the Beyond Valor module. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can read through it and so maybe if you like those rules, get those other modules. Um, I don't know if you're just noticing, but it, this is much easier to use, at least for me, than the um, three-ring binder. I mean, you can just flip through things. My instigation for getting it is I was flipping through the three-ring binder and, like, a page just ripped out. Like, I wasn't even doing anything forceful to it. And so that made me decide, like, oh, man, i got to protect this. Do I want to get, like, slip covers or whatever for the pages or get little th three-ring hole, um, I don't know, strengtheners? Um, decided to just, like, fix the few pages that I ended up ripping out and get this because you can just flip it around, no problem. This is the primary rule book, um, just a random page, B31. It's talking about blazes and stuff. Uh, here's the equivalent page in the um, pocket edition. So one thing you'll notice is, uh, I, I'm not sure if all pages are like this, but so far, just a quick cursory glance, they are um, offset by one. So this is on the right-hand side, this is on the left-hand side. So when you're skimming through the book, some, if you're used to finding something somewhere, it's going to be offset by one page. But um, I looked at the text, like for this example page, and it's identical. So their sections, even though it's smaller, the sections didn't skew off the off to some other page. So um, so far, they seem to have just um, proportionally shrunk the, uh, everything to fit into this smaller format. It's definitely smaller. Let's see if we can like check out the text here. Um, I would imagine folks with um, vision issues might find this a bit. Rough on the eyes. Um, might not look that different to you, but it is pretty small. Um, I, I don't know if it's coming through on the filming, but um, also it's, I find it to be significantly lower quality than the um, primary rule book. Uh, I think the paper is less quali lower quality, um, which might be why it doesn't look as nice. Maybe it's bleeding a little. Um, it just looks a little blurry to me. It's also a little washed out. Um, not only the ink on the pictures, like this green is a little more vibrant than this green, but the text is just faded and not as thick. You know, I consider it below average quality. I would even call it poor. Um, the book itself is pretty light, probably because it's cheap paper. It's not. It doesn't feel like a textbook. But, you know, it, I can flip through it, no problem. Um, so, you know, it's pretty, I'm happy with it in terms of uh, the convenience, even though um, I don't think the printing is that great. 
Okay, I did find a uh, page, is another page, where things did skew. Um, this is A52 in the primary rule book. It's talking about uh, human wave stuff. And uh, you can see there's a graphic here. Here's the same page. It's got some of the same graphics, for example. Um, let's see here if I can find this. So the rule book is written has these uh, directions of the human wave or whatever. Um, this has those two, but it's missing the graphic. And it's over on the next page. Yep. So uh, I think that is a factor of these rules are a little more modern than my primary rule book, which uh, is the most current one, I believe. So uh, for example, um, these human wave rules in the primary rule book talks about defensive first fire fire uh, with a human wave, um, how minefields, OBA, and residual firepower affect the human wave. Well, that's nowhere to be seen in here. Uh, so that was a correction. Um, I believe it's made in the uh, addendum to the rulebook from Armies of Oblivion, which I do not have. So it has been incorporated into the pocket edition. So that's cool. Uh, good reason to have this besides just the convenience. The back, back of the uh, pocket edition has the infantry fire table, the standard one. Um, and then inside the back cover, there's some charts. I can't imagine I will ever use these, um, including another infantry fire table. Um, maybe if I was using it as a true pocket edition and carrying it around, um, maybe I would. But I think I would always have the uh, original rule book. Another thing, um, you can't really play ASL without the full rule book. Um, if you're going to use tanks and uh, guns um, because the armory is missing and I actually haven't graduated to tanks and guns yet but uh, my understanding is you need the armory to understand all the features of the tanks and guns. Um, so my final assessment though, I think I paid $40 for this. I think that's half the price maybe of the full rule book. Um, I think it's well worth it if you're going to play this game a lot. Um, for me, just skimming through here. Also, uh, one last little tidbit I forgot to mention. The index is moved from the back to the front. And at first I was like, why would they do that? That's ridiculous. Uh, turns out it's awesome. You know, I just immediately come to the thing I'm looking for, find out where it is, and then hop to the back. Um, so anyway, uh, that's that. And hopefully that helps you decide if you want to purchase it or not. Catch you later.